a heart-stopping scene that we're only showing you because this little boy survived. But not every child does. Even after decades of attention on this problem, cords on those window blinds remain one of the top hazards in your home. And Team 10 investigator Melissa Macia joins us on this story. This has got to come as a surprise to a lot of families out there. Yeah, and believe it or not, Steve, statistics reveal one child every month is strangled by them. This is what we're talking about right here. These cords on your blinds that you see. Now, we've been working with ABC affiliates all across the country to expose a deadly delay by industry to enact mandatory changes. Jesse and Michelle Hawk are the parents of triplets. With three kids, you can bet the family baby proofed. As a parent, you know, we thought we thought of everything, everything we could think of. But one day after Michelle went to put the triplets down for a nap, she heard Jacob's sister scream and ran upstairs. And I saw Jacob with the inner cord of the blind wrapped around his neck. After two weeks on a ventilator in the hospital, they made the unbearable decision to let 16-month-old Jacob go. I have dreams still from the way I found my son, and I should never have found him that way. I did what the blinds told me to, which was to wrap up the tie cord out of his reach. Michelle believes Jacob was able to stand up on his crib and get his little finger around the inner cord. You can see when you pull it, it forms a loop big enough to choke a child. Parents are not to blame for this hidden hazard. Consumer Product Safety Commission Chairman Elliot Kay and parents like the Hawks have pushed for tougher standards. He says the decision lies in the hands of the WCMA or the Window Covering Manufacturers Association. It oversees this industry. I don't know what the issue is other than greed. Kay says warnings on the boxes just don't cut it. This spring, Target stopped selling blinds with cords. Last month, IKEA also pulled the blinds with cords off the shelf in all of its U.S. stores. Other large retailers like Home Depot, Lowe's, and Walmart say they're working to eliminate blinds with cords by the end of 2018. Retailers told ABC News they trained their employees on what to tell customers regarding cord safety. Team 10 tested that out. We went to Walmart in Oak Park. We were looking for blinds for our son's room. The only blinds this store sold were corded ones. So would this be good to put in a little kid's room? He said yes, as long as we shorten up the cord or make a knot. We also went to Home Depot off Market Street. When asked what blinds would be best for a child about one year old, the employee pointed us to the blinds with cords. We asked a few different times. So for a little kid's room, it's going to be something like this. Then finally, after a few minutes. These are okay with kids to have these? A different employee pointed us to the cordless blinds. Many clerks probably don't understand it, and their parents too. Kay said the only way to avoid any confusion is to eliminate the hazard. And if you only have safe choices on the shelves, you don't have to worry about any advice, which is where I want to go. Some people think it won't happen to them. You cannot watch your child 24 hours per day, seven days a week. And the only way to solve the problem is to get rid of corded blinds everywhere. The WCMA released a statement to ABC News. It said that the cordless products are still not available in all styles and sizes and that they can be as much as two to three times more expensive than those with cords. The industry says they launched the program Best for Kids, which certifies the best blinds for families who have children. But Kay says it just really doesn't get to the core issue of this problem. All right, so if the industry doesn't want it, why don't we have legislation to get rid of it? So the Consumer Product Safety Commission actually has the authority, the power to eliminate blinds with cords, but the process is very slow and the only real fast solution is for the industry to take that initiative to remove those dangerous blinds from the shelves. So an ongoing process and we'll just have to wait and see. One way or the other, we need it. Yeah, in the meantime, parents just shouldn't buy the ones with the cords. Mm -hmm. All right. What Team 10 uncovered is only part of the story. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, what happened when ABC News chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross confronted the window blind industry about its failure to take action. You will only see it on GMA. It's right after 10 News this morning.